everyone. Today I'm making a frittata. Uh, I'm making it with three very popular ingredients. Uh, broccolini or tender stem broccoli, as you can see here. And I've steamed that. Uh, so that's been pre-cooked and I've allowed it to go cold. I've got about uh, six rashes of bacon that I've cut into uh, three inch strips. Uh, we've got some brie cheese, a beautiful French creamy brie. Uh, that's an eight ounce wedge there. I'm using about half of that cut into nice little squares. I've got a half an onion that I've just sliced. I've got two ounces of nice sharp cheddar. Uh, I've got some beautiful fresh chives and parsley from the garden. Six gorgeous free range eggs that we've beaten up. And we're gonna season those eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper. And optional ingredient, of course, uh, is a couple of garlic cloves that we've crushed. So without any further ado, shall we crack on? I've got about half an ounce of butter and I've got a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to throw in my sliced onion, throw in the garlic, two cloves of garlic. I'm going to throw in these beautiful chives and then we're going to put in half of our parsley. Don't forget, full list of ingredients are contained in the description below. And I'm going to cook this now, I'm just going to sweat this off. Okay, so our onions are nicely cooked. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. In goes our six eggs. Okay, we're going to move the eggs round just a little bit. Just want to cook the eggs about 50%. And I'm on a low heat here. Let's just move these eggs around. Now we're going to arrange the rest of the ingredients. So once the egg is half cooked, switch off your heat. And let's start arranging this beautiful broccoli. And you can arrange it any way you like. It doesn't have to be immaculate. And don't forget we've got bacon we have got cheese, all sorts of things to go on. Let's get the bacon on, shall we? Piece of bacon in every gap. Okay, so now I'm going to randomly scatter the brie. And now I'm going to just add a little quantity of cheddar cheese. And after about five minutes under the grill, our frittata is ready. So we've still got our lovely pattern of broccoli. The cheese is beautifully melted all over the top. Unfortunately, we can't see the bacon but that might be a lesson to learn for next time. But that there is the most beautiful 10 to 15 minute lunch you will prepare for yourself and your friend, your lover, your husband, your wife, whatever. And that is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to garnish the top with a little bit of chili oil. Obviously this is optional too. Thanks for watching everybody. See you all very, very soon. I'm going to enjoy my lunch.